does deleting a post or page deletes its attached media files as well? No. By default, when we delete any content, regardless if it's a page, product or any kind of post type, WordPress keeps the media files associated with it. Search media files, since they are not associated with any website elements, unnecessarily occupies the space on our website and also slows down our website considerably. So in this video, we will see how to find and remove existing unused media files from the media library with 100% safety and also we will see how to automate this process of deletion of media files with the deletion of posts or pages on our website. So let us start. So to understand this better, let us go to any of the post. And here I will go to the first post and open this in a new tab. So this is our post and it has a few images. So this is the first image. So let us consider this. And now what I will do is I will go and delete this post. So let us refresh here and the post is now deleted. Now let us go to the media library and here if you check the relevant image, you'll see that the relevant image is still there. So a lot of times when we are working on a website, we delete the post or the content or the product on WooCommerce, but the relevant images are still lying in the library. So there is a simple way given by WordPress and here in the filters, you will see that you can filter the images which are unattached to any of the content on the website. So if I filter this, you should see all the images which are not attached to any of the content on the website. But this is not a foolproof technique to find out unattached images on our website. So for this, we'll take help of a small plugin and for this, we will go to add new. And here we will search for media cleaner. So here we are discussing a scenario wherein we have already created the website and now we want to clean up the unattached images on our website. In the second scenario, we will see how we can auto delete the relevant images when we delete the post or the content on our website. So here is the plugin, which is by Jordi Mel, and it is the media cleaner, clean your WordPress. So it says clean your WordPress, eliminate unused and broken media files for a faster and better website. So let us install this plugin and activate it. So immediately you will see a tab named as Mew Apps and under this you will see Media Cleaner. Here you will see that the first box which is for the content is already checked. To check the further things for the Media Cleaner, let us click on Access Media Cleaner Dashboard. So here you will see a button called the scan button and you just need to click on scan and it is now scanning the media library to find out the unattached media files. So the scan is now complete and you will see that there are 234 issues with your file accounting for 60.49 megabytes. Your trash contains 0.00 megabytes. So you'll see that it has scanned all the images which are not connected to any of the content. 
So the issue here, it has mentioned as not found in content. And what we can do is we can simply select these files and delete these images. So this is the safest way to find out unattached images and delete only those images safely from the media library. So if you have an old website where you wish to manage and clean the media library, this is the simple and free method you can use on your website. But if you wish to avoid this and make this process automated so that whenever you delete any post or content on your website, the relevant image will also be deleted. You need to make use of another plugin. So for this, let us hover over to the plugins and go to add new. And here you need to search for delete attached media. So here you will see lot of options for deleting the attached media and you can use any of these plugins but what I have done is I have tested this plugin DX Delete Attached Media by Nofernic. So install this plugin. If you wish to learn about managing a website with lot of images, you can check out the video given in the info box above. So let us activate this plugin. And let me choose this unwanted tab. So now I will create a post and we will see how with the deletion of this post, we can also delete the image attached to this post. So I will give it a title as test post and I mean simply publish it. I will go to add block. I will add an image from my computer. And for this, I will add this image on the post. Now I will simply update this post. And if we now build this post in another tab, you will see that we have this post live on our website. So now let us go to the WordPress dashboard and go to the media library. So here you will see that we have the first image which is linked to this post and what we will do, we will now delete this post and we will check how the delete attached media plugin is working. So to check this, let me open all the posts in another tab. So this is our post and now I will simply delete this post. And you will see that the post is now deleted. So now if we refresh the media library, the image will still be there. But if we go to the trash and delete the post permanently, you will see that in the media library, if we refresh the page, the image is immediately gone. So this is how you can automate the deletion of the images. When we delete the post content, or the WooCommerce product on our website. So hope this video was useful to you and with the techniques that we have just discussed, you can manage the media files very well on your website. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care. Thank <laughs> you.